Barstool Sports is running the uh, the biggest media conglomerate in the country right now. They're about as good as it gets, and they just added a superstar to the lineup, and our good friend Joey Molinero. Um, Indianapolis, his favorite son, continues to develop the repertoire of impressions. Um, Barstool, big shout out to him for giving us OTB yeah. a shout out on his yes. press release. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, that man. was really cool. Was Thank cool. you, Joe. That was, was awesome. Uh, man. That was great. In fact, uh, Joey Molinera is up in New York City, but uh, he's sitting alongside Clay Travis, who Travis has really <sighs> not been your guy through this thing, T. <sighs> Uh, big fan of Moscona. Moscona, a big fan of his, our afternoon guy down here on ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans, and Alexandria. Clay, does this thing finally resonate as real for you? Fellas, absolutely not. There's nothing to worry about when you look at this kind of thing, all right? This is not a problem. When you look at this, there's a better chance that LeBron James would apologize to China before you get coronavirus, all right? There's a better chance that Mark Moscona has my kind of ratings and my kind of house in Mexico before you get coronavirus, all right? This is not a problem, not a problem at all. I am not concerned. It's basically just the flu. This coronavirus is a hoax. It's not something to worry about, fellas. All right, Clay. Wow, that was, I kind of knew you were going to say that. Uh, Clay, get out of there. I know that Joey's other buddy that he met up in Indianapolis hanging out. Andrew Luck is there. Uh, you, you and Luck have been close for years. Excuse me, Andrew. You and Joey have been close for years. Uh, but w- w- what was your reaction when you heard that Joey was getting called up to the big leagues, leaving Indy, going to Barstool? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm obviously very uh, happy for him. Um, not too familiar with Barstool. Uh, more of a uh, NPR kind of guy. Uh, Barstool's not really up my alley, but uh, certainly happy the whole. Uh, be, be off my back, if you will, and we'll be heading to the Big Apple. <laughs> hey, uh, Andrew, I got to ask you, you're you're no stranger to uh, getting beat up by defenses and taking on a lot of pain. What are, your, what are your thoughts on this corona, on this COVID-19 case? Honestly, it works great for me. I, I, I'm kind of a curmudgeon myself, if you, if you would. Uh, so uh, not too worried about going out, per se. Uh, I like, like being where I am, but... Uh, no, it, it, it is a serious problem, and uh, you don't need to be going out. Trust me from somebody like you said that uh, I got hit pretty hard multiple times uh, in my career and uh, definitely don't want to be hit hard by this corona. That, that's for sure. Maybe maybe spend some more time drinking some Bud Lights rather than uh, Coronas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andrew, that that's play? enough with you, man. Pass the phone over to Nick Saban. Our, our guy, Molinero, hangs out with all the A-listers. Uh, Saban, uh, it's got to be a dead time. We, we saw Ogeron over the weekend. He was putting out the video telling Louisiana residents how to handle the coronavirus. A uh, lot of downtime here in Baton Rouge for the head coach of the defending national champs. How are you spending your downtime away from spring football? No players in the building. What's going on with you, Coach Saban? You really think I'm gonna let something like coronavirus come in between me and my program? I'm sitting in my I, I'm sitting in my back room. I don't care. I'm watching film. I'm getting the leg up. Miss Terry wants to try to come in here and throw some of my way about quarantining. I ain't quarantining. All right. I'm spending time in the film room. That's what it's all about. If you want to run a good football program like I'm doing, all right. Coach, were, were you, what was your reaction when the NCAA came in and, and made you cancel spring practice? Did you address the team? How, how are you handling this? Well, see, here's the thing. is Here's how it goes. All right, there's there's Ed Ogeron, and there's Will Muschamp, and there's all these other coaches, and then there's me. All right? So I don't apply to the rules of the NCAA, okay? So little do you know, but I'm having people still at my house in my backyard. We're running spring practice in my backyard. <laughs> we can quarantine back there. I got a lot back there in my backyard, all right? I got, a football, I got a football field as well as a pool. We can do it all. We can train in the water, and then we can go out. We can do spring practice in my backyard. I'm above the NCAA right now, all right? So just quit asking. So, uh, Coach, you may have heard about this kid, Joey Melinaro, just got hired by Barstool Sports. He does a Nick Saban impression. Um, but he had actually, your daughter on. Yeah, had he had your daughter, your daughter on. So, yeah. you, so your daughter responded to one of his videos, and he had her on. Any any thoughts about your daughter stepping out with this kind of young, hot, rising star? You know, that's not my problem. <laughs> I, I can't focus on what my daughter's doing in terms of being online. I don't even know what it is. Is that Insta face? Is it Snap, Twitter? I, I, I don't know. All right. All I can do is all I can do, and all I'm doing is running my football program, even during this quarantine, and if that's what she wants to do, then that's fine. But this Joey guy, I don't even know who the hell he is, all right? 
Well, well, look, let's let's go ahead and thank thank you, Coach Saban. You're always uh, such a pleasure to talk to. Uh, try to find some enjoyment in life if you can. Uh, but let's talk to Joey now, the man who is uh, Joey. What's up, man? Are you are you here, guys? What's happening? Oh, hey. hey. A-listers everywhere this morning, bro. bro. <laughs> Wait, so take us through the uh, take us through the process. What was his last few weeks been like from doing the impressions? They keep hitting million views, million views, and then. Like, how did the Barstool move come about? Yeah, so, well, and thanks for having me on here, too. Oh, come on, Always. Always. Open him up. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Appreciate the shout-out. Yeah, of course. But um, when I was, or when the Combine was in Indy, uh, Big Cat and his guys, I mean, TFT, we kind of linked up, and, and I said, hey, this could be really good if we did some stuff. And they were like, yeah, for sure. And so we did the video, and then from there, Big Cat was like, he was kind of the the uh, middleman, the um, consigliere wow. of the situation. You know what I mean? We're between me and Dave, and um, so he linked us up, got our contact info together, and then I talked to Dave later that night. And then from there, I was heading on a plane to New York with my wife the next week, and then accepting an offer. Wow! Wow! So, so that was like when you went to New York first. So that was that for like an interview process after. You'd initially uh, linked up with Dave. Uh, it was more of like, a, "Hey, come see what it's all about. Come see if you'd like to fit. You know, check out the office. Meet us in person before you, you know, make any decisions, yeah. whether it be no or yes." And so that was my first time in New York, and wow. I was like, "Oh man, this is gonna be like." I was really, you know, I was kind of like, "Damn, my anxiety is gonna be off the charts here this week, boys." But you know, when I got there, it, like, wasn't. <laughs> Yeah, surprisingly, it wasn't too bad. It was just like any other city except, you know, times five or ten or whatever. So, um, what was the original question? I'm kind of rambling. No, that was it. No, that was it. I want, I kind of, I, want, I wanted to know what, what that whole just feeling was like showing up in New York, knowing it's kind of a pseudo job interview, knowing that this could be like the big break, man. That, that, that's awesome. That's incredible. So, you'd never even been to New York City before. No, no, I haven't. And Riley, my wife, she had been, and she loves it. She's a she's a New York City kind of girl, and um, uh, her mom has family out there and stuff. But I I'd, I'd never been out to New York City, and my mom was really really worried. But uh, you know, we we survived out there, even though what sucks, dude, is that um, like we went to Madison Square Garden and saw the Knicks and Jazz play when we were there. <laughs> okay, well, you got it in right before the you got to see Go Bear. Do you shake Go Bear's hand? <laughs> Yeah, that's like ground zero, right? <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, well, what the hell, man? Rudy Gobert, we were just there. We were breathing the same air as this guy. Like, I just saw him do the Euro step, You're screwed, you know? bro. Freaking Rudy, you're screwed, dude. Man. Rudy Gobert, yeah. the ultimate heel. Uh, so, yeah. obviously, you're a great co- uh, content creator. Uh, w- w- so, what's the responsibility at Barstow? Just pumping out content all day? Yeah, kind of. Uh, I mean, from, from as far as I understand, you know, I'll just if I'll hop on other people's shows or i think i might do a t bobby like this i think i might do a uh star wars live stream tonight yes. of the phantom menace yes while we're, oh. all, while we're all yeah while we're all quarantined here so we do a little bit of that and then just you know making videos and, and writing and um my besides my intro blog yesterday i wrote about uh possible colin cowherd coronavirus analogy yes, uh that. which which uh, was a lot of fun to do. So uh, if you want to check that out, there's, you know, his, his take on uh, DeForest Buckner and Baker, of course. So it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Real quick, hand the phone to Coach O and tell him to update our listeners on how they can protect themselves during the, uh, during the quarantine here. Well, certainly got to know that you got to be covering your mouth like it's a vampire. Anytime you got to sneeze, anytime you got to cough, you got to look like Count Dracula out there to be safe. Stay safe. Cover that mouth in the face. Go Foggles. Joey, you're the best, bro. Congratulations. Thank you, as always. Thanks, bro. I got to give a shout-out again to you guys to Tiger Nation, but also big news overnight. I fanboyed. I texted T-Bob about it. Our guy, Joey B., Joey Burrow. Yes. He he followed me on Twitter. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got both Joeys. We got uh, Joey M., Joey B., we're trying to we're trying to link up, but it's a big, big night. So very excited. Joey, you you got to add him to the list, bro. His impression would be great. Y'all kind of look alike. Yeah, yeah, he's got a little kind of list going on, too. He's a man, though. So, yeah, just had to get that in there. But thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Later, man. There he is, Joey Molinaro, checking in from uh, from New York, the latest addition to, balls, uh, to uh, Barstool Sports.